What's going on, people? Why is it so... It's never this dark. What's going on here? What's going on, everyone? Logan Black here on the way back to my palatial estate. The boss man, Joey B, over here, currently sharing this so that everybody can see and enjoy. We are live once again for these uh, weekly Thursday Q&As. A lot of uh, interesting things going on this very weekend. We're glad that you could join us. Feel free to like, share, question, statement. Give us whatever you'd like on these. Go ahead and jump on in, but please, share this. Let's build this together. The more people in here, the more fun we have every single time. That's how it works. You know that's how it is. Uh, Joe, how are you feeling today? Good. He's feeling good. It's surprising. He was very angry over dinner. They took a very long time to get us our oh food. Oh, my God. I, I'm, I'm a place like, I like customer service. Jo Joey is not an easy person to deal with if you are in customer Jones service. Pac-Man Jones at the cashier. It was not Pac-Man Jones. I can assure you, it was not Pac-Man Jones. He, he's definitely not working at Cadoba. What's going on, Zeno? Yeah, we can't wait for this weekend either. This is going to be a fucking banger of a weekend. Thank you, Brad, for sharing. Yeah, this weekend, uh, well, I'll get to, to Friday in a bit, but let's talk Saturday because I got the boss in the car. Warriors of Wrestling. Heather Chris, what's going on? How you doing? Um, so yeah, this Saturday, Warriors of Wrestling presents Hit the Lights! Live in Staten Island, Warriors of Wrestling's home at Fun Station. Uh, we've got Chavo Guerrero versus Chris Steeler, which is sure to be a uh, absolute barn burner. Uh, what else we got on this card? Jason Karloff and Chris Banks taking on uh, what is it? Just Neff and Darius Carter. Darius Carter. That's gonna be a uh, that's gonna get violent. I feel I'm gonna kick the ever loving shit out of Juba. Good. Yeah, I know you. Joe's gonna enjoy that. Uh, what else we got going on? Nikki Adams taking on Madison Rain, former Knockouts champion. Who's the girl that's gonna be doing a special? Uh, who is the girl that's giving you a special appearance? Laura, Lauren Van Ness. Oh, Laurel Van Ness. Ah, my favorite. My father, you know, my dad's she'll talking. Be in, she'll be in a uh, gimmick. Oh, that's the best. I was telling my father, was like, oh, yeah, I watch TNA. I don't get her and Grado where the two that he didn't understand. And I'm like. I don't get TNA. Well, I mean, that's. <laughs> Actually, that's most cable companies don't give TNA. <laughs> well, that's beyond the point. I, th I like Grado. I think Grado is awesome. You got to check Grado out. Uh. In the UK, he's wonderful. And Laurel Venice, that gimmick is just the coolest thing what in the world. That? I don't know. I wish I did. You know what? Feuding with Alec. Well, it was feuding with Alec, correct? I believe so. If you check her uh, Twitter, she has the stuff where she's not in her TNA character. And it's pretty awesome. I don't know. She's awesome. That's going to be awesome to have around. I just said the word awesome about 15 times. <laughs> Hello from Ashland, Wisconsin. What's going on, Kyle? What is going on in Ashland, Wisconsin right now? Tell us at this moment. What are you guys, an hour behind us? What's it? Whatever it is. Clue me in. What is going on in your neck of the woods? I'd love to know. So yeah, Warriors of Wrestling is going to be killing it. We're going to have a packed house, as we always do. Lots of craziness. Uh, yeah, I mean, everyone knows it's going to be pretty ridiculous. Laurel Van Ness was on WWE Tough Enough. I didn't even know. That's pretty awesome. The only tough enough season I liked was the first one. The one may have been an idiot. Yeah. I liked them all except for the last one. The last you know, one. You know, they brought up that on, on uh, Bruce Pritchard does his Facebook Live. And he just did it. Like, we were doing a QA. People ask him so many questions, he couldn't answer them. Right. But he did ask, he goes, why did um, they make tough enough, you know, be part of SmackDown instead of being its own show like it was? Like, and Bruce said, once MTV kind of backed away from it or yeah. disassociated themselves with it. The cost was just too much for... Oh, I can imagine. I can so imagine. that's why they just incorporated into, into SmackDown. God, it's quiet, but the fair is in Iron River, Wisconsin. How is the fair is out by you? I was just in a fair recently. It was small, not too big, but I've been to uh, one of the fairs in upstate New York. And I'll tell you, man, I've never seen fried butter except for a fair. Oh. That's just craziness to me. Do they got fried Do butter in Iron that? River? No. No. <laughs> no. I'm not about fried butter. I, mean, I like fried Oreos. It's a bit much. They had fried Oreos. Uh, Benny and Sinclair had some fried Oreos. I couldn't roll with that because, uh, I don't know, it's just too much. My brother used to make fried Oreos all the time. He'd have like 10 of them. I had one and I was sick. I mean, me and Tony go to the boardwalk. We get that. We get like six of them. Hell yeah, Kyle. Enjoy that fare. Enjoy yourself. Guys, I'm going to put out the warning to those of you uh, uh, watching in right now. We're about to hit that spot that we always hit that we lose service. Please stick with us. It's only for about a minute or so we'll lose it, and then boom, we're right back in, right back to answering all your questions, uh, right back to, uh, I don't know, talking all the shit that we normally talk. How stoked are you for tomorrow? I am fucking ecstatic 
super stoked for tomorrow. I'm actually just stoked for this weekend in general, man. I mean, tomorrow's going to be a fucking incredible show. Um, just super excited for, uh, you know, the opportunity and everything. But, you know, fucking Warriors of Wrestling Saturday should be a fucking insane show as well. This is possibly my favorite weekend of wrestling I've had all summer. And that's saying something. I'll be in Philadelphia Saturday. Oh, will you? Yes, what will you be doing? I'll be at the Icons of Wrestling Convention at the ECW. The, old, the 2300 arena, the old ECW. Hell yeah. Joey B has a... I'll be making my way down the street to get a cheesesteak. So. There you go. Jam-packed day for the boss man. Uh, Kyle, we are currently in Brooklyn, New York, driving through it to try and get to Queens, New York. Uh, then the boss is going to be going into New York City. Uh, we came from Staten Island where we have the Warriors of Wrestling Training Center. Check us out. We've got videos up and all that stuff, Kyle. Um, so, yeah, super psyched. Uh, How about we plug this open house we're going to come out September 8th? Yeah, let's talk about that open house. So, September 8th, it is a Friday night. It's almost full. Yeah, well, the Warriors Wrestling Training Center is doing an open house. What does this mean? This means that if you are interested in becoming a wrestler, if you had ever any interest in being a wrestler or doing something in wrestling, if you just want to check out what professional wrestling training is like, you are free to come down. Absolutely free, no charge. You come down, you learn, you know, some basic day one stuff that we do with all the students. Uh, currently, we had uh, 20 spots that we are you know, allowing to go for this. Uh, at this point, yeah, most of them are already filled up. So please, if you are interested in doing that open house, please email uh, the boss man, either at the Warriors of Wrestling account or uh, at his personal account. What is it? J-T-I-B-E-E -E at AOL.com. So email, let us know that you want to come down, that you're going to be coming down. So we have the space for everyone. It's going to be really awesome. People are going to get to see what it also, is. October 20th, we have uh, the Tom Pritchard uh, seminar. Yes, October 20th. Tom Pritchard coming in for a seminar. Tom Pritchard, the man who helped train The Rock. The man who helped train both Vince and Shane McMahon. Uh, he's trained countless other wrestlers. I mean, way too many to name. Former talent scout for every fucking company in the world. Uh, you want a guy who knows his shit. You go to uh, Dr. Tom, and he will be there doing a seminar at the Warriors of Wrestling Training Center. Only thirty dollars. Only thirty dollars. Honestly, it's October twenty. It's a steal. People pay double that for Tom Pritchard seminars. We're giving it to you for thirty dollars if you're a trained wrestler. Come on down. Again, a legend in terms of training in this business. You'd be a figgy fool to not come down. I actually think I'm booked that day. This guy, something wrong with this guy? What the fuck? Oh, oh, what's he going to set Joey off today? Is it this guy next to us? Fucking taxi. <laughs> Again, we're getting to that point where we might lose you guys for a bit. Please, stay tuned. We're not going anywhere. We're going to keep this going the whole time, even when we lose the service. So please stick with us. Show some love, and we'll get right back into this uh, fun little gimmickry that we do. Uh, I'm in a much better mood than I was earlier. You know, it's... Again, I'm super stoked, super excited for this weekend. But of course, there's you know always going to be idiots involved in general that uh you know don't don't quite tickle my fancy and kind of piss me off. But kind of let that shit go because this is going to be a really fucking sweet weekend of professional wrestling. Oh fuck! Now I'm talking about fairs. I want to go get myself some fucking fair food. That was the hardest thing, man. What's fair food, there, fat ass. What's fair food? Tell this, me about fair food. Someone's going to call me fat ass. Look at this guy. Me, Can't keep up with the cardio. What's fucking fat? What's, what's fair food? Well, first of all, somebody mentioned fried sausage, Oreos. Sausage and peppers? Yeah, sausage and peppers. We got feast food. Yeah, that's feast food. That is, literally, it was a dog bowl. Like a dog bowl, like you see. Filled with fucking fries and cheddar cheese and bacon. And everyone walking by me just fucking made me excited. I wanted one of those so badly. Could not have them. I was disappointed. Uh, meat on a stick was also very popular. Is that shish kebab? So it could... Uh, shish kebab is usually meat, but they've also got, like, the, the, the onions and peppers. And I didn't see no onions and peppers. It just looked like straight up meat on a stick. So, that was that. I wanted some of that, but I could not do that either. Um, I had one of those at Kevin Ness's engagement party. Uh, shish kebab? Yeah. And that's, like, the first time I had that in a long, long time. Churros, Dan Forjone. Uh, uh, I've seen them. There, there, there were there were people eating churros. No, no. I'm, I've I, seen I, them. Yeah, I'm not, I always, they look good, and then I eat them like. Eh. I've got Oreo churros in my freezer. 
that I'm waiting to break out. I just, just can't afford them in terms of calories at this point. I'm trying to hold out. I'm doing my thing. Edwin Xavier Isle is excited for the open house next month. Good, you should be. Was if that, you know, Edwin, if you know anybody else who is interested, tell the him. First one let him know. Good, it's a, it's a dude who wants it. Again, there's going to be a lot going on. We might have a guest trainer or two come in and help you guys out. Who the hell knows what's going to happen? It's going to be fun. Anyway, I digress. We continue with fair. Have you ever wrestled at a fair, Joe? Yes. You did? When? Tell us the story. That's about the it. time. All right. So, well, it was in Portchester, New York. Um, in That's Maine. like how far upstate is that? I think it's right next to Westchester. Okay. Uh, so that right right over Brook Brown. So anyway, so Snooker, I think wrestled. This yes. was two thousand. Yes. And, this is two thousand. Almost two thousand. So uh, Snooker wrestled. I think Whip or Whip, and Kevin Matthews just joined. Gleason's at the time. This is a young teenage Kevin Matthews, and he had a girlfriend that he was. And I, and I hope we get the story. Well, anyway, this girl, she was like 15, because so was Kevin. They were, they were teenagers. I was gonna say. So Snooker ends up fucking this girl in the fucking. Oh house. my god! <laughs> Hundred year old Jimmy Snooker. Uh, well, whatever he was in 2000. Yo. Was that 17 years ago. Since you heard it here first. So yeah. Um, Jimmy Snooker banging was, out 15 year olds. What was her name though? She ended up doing like uh, before Facebook and MySpace, but. On the internet, they would do like, like modeling pictures and stuff like that. Chrissy, or not, not Vane, not the one he dated when he was in uh, going to be try uh, developmental. Chrissy Kiss. No. Ugh. Uh, um. I forgot the fucking girl. She ended up dating a guy from that porn wrestling XW something. XPW. Yeah, she was one of the she. She was. She ended up moving out to California. I forgot her name. Oh, Chrissy. Oh, I think big fake titty lady out there. No, I don't This is years ago uh, Listen you, if, if it's this one Then she had Fucking humong got, uh, you know, humongoid ask, uh, comedy boobs I'm gonna ask uh, yeah, Bruiser knows if Bruiser's on I ask him I haven't seen Bruiser Um I'll ask Whip But yeah So that, that God. Was, Anyway that, I don't know if that's the story you wanted Well no that, that's, a, that's a fantastic story but, So you heard it You heard it here First ladies and gentlemen Aside from murdering somebody <laughs> <laughs> Jimmy, I don't know if that's what Jimmy Snuka apparently fucked a 15 year old <laughs> at the Port Chester Fair. Uh, yeah, I don't know if that's the kind of story you wanted me to tell. Allegedly. <laughs> allegedly murdered and allegedly fucked a young girl. Sweet Christmas. Well, I, I wrestled at that fair. Um, I don't know if that's what you want me to talk about the food. No, anything. No, anything. Talk about being at the well, fair. All right, so Johnny had his meeting in the back. Very rare well, that Johnny would have a fucking meeting. You know that. Yes. Okay, so. This, these are shows where I was, you know, flipping my bird, you know, doing the attitude and stuff. And I remember you in the back, he's like, this is a kid's event, I don't want none of this, I don't want none of that. And like, this looked like everybody like spread out and I was standing and it's like, and you, I don't want to see no middle fingers. And you know, I'm not going to do the Johnny voice, but yeah. <gasps> I was like, fuck this. And that was like towards the end of my, one of my runs there. And I remember B, me and BA were the tag, the tag team and he's like, I ain't going. He didn't show up. <laughs> I had to tag up with this guy named Freddie Rockaway. He was like a white Rasta man. Oh, what? <laughs> Freddie Rockaway, legend, the man, no? the myth. I uh, know. You've seen his matches. No, but Freddie Rockaway sounds like a Johnny he was fucking from, name. No, he was from, uh. Rockaway? Yeah. Exactly, yeah. <laughs> Johnny name. Oh, what's your name, kid? Freddie, where are you from? Oh, I live in the. Oh, Freddie Rockaway! <laughs> where are you from? Oh, where are you from? Uh, uptown. You're the uptown bad boy! Yeah, like three of them. Yeah, he had uptown bad boy. I think he had a downtown bad boy. Mexican dishwasher. The Mexican dish. Again, the There's legend. The Canadian douchebag. Again, Johnny Rod's gimmicks. You've got fucking from Rockaway, Freddie Rockaway. It would be amazing if he was from fucking like Babylon, Long Island. He was from Ozone Park, I think. Exactly, Ozone tremendous. Ozone. Freddie Rockaway, the Romanian douchebag, a legend, and the Mexican dishwasher. Well, Those are the names that... Hold on, the Romanian douchebag ran shows. He was like, uh, he would buy, you know, I guess he got bought show. And so Johnny would take, I didn't go, but he would take his student shows or his Gleason shows, WW shows, to, like, say, Queens. And on this show, I guess Johnny rented Gino Caruso's ring. Right. And the musketeer pulled out his sword and he, I guess he swung it to, and it cut Gino right in the fucking face. Oof. So Gino, I think, would get stitches. Well, I think this was a church, and also the, 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 the priest sitting in the front row, and Tim Arson's on the show, blow, blow, everybody, and Johnny's like, enough, ring the bell, ring the bell, baby, disqualification, 
to that's disqualify what, Timmy. Timmy goes in the back, so it's punching fucking lockers. Uh, that's how you're a fucking heel. Boom. What do you mean? <laughs> uh, God rest his soul. 